What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nicola Espresso and welcome back to another Infinite Warfare video here today on the channel. This one we're going to be talking about is the most underrated assault rifle, at least in my opinion, within Infinite Warfare. You guys very well may could disagree with this here and that's perfectly fine if you guys do, but today we're going to be talking about my personal thoughts on what I believe is the most underrated assault rifle in the game. So that said, if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below and if you guys are new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing to stay up to date with everything Infinite Warfare and of course, Modern Warfare Remastered and everything Call of Duty here with the channel. But let's talk about about my personal preference and my personal choice for the most underrated assault rifle. If you guys hop into a game of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, chances are you're gonna come across somebody with the NV4. That is probably the most overrated assault rifle, or not really overrated because it does perform very well. But if you guys are looking to change up your playstyle, you're getting a little bit tired of using the NV4 every single time if you're an assault rifle user, then you have a couple different options here with it. But which one would guarantee you some great gunfights, some great kills, and some nice gameplays here out of it? My personal preference would be the KBAR or the K-Bar within the game. Now, it's one of those weapons that it definitely does pack a punch, but compared to some other weapons, it might feel in the hands of the user a little bit weak. So it might take another shot or two, depending on where you shoot them to get the kill solidified. But it definitely, I think, is manageable and certainly worth it whenever you think about some of the other properties that it has. The weapon feels extremely mobile and almost performs at that of the level of a submachine gun in some regards. I'm saying that almost like as if it has an asterisk on it, but it definitely does perform quite well. Now, I mentioned the SMG properties here with it because the fire rate is slightly higher than some of the other assault rifles and definitely in some close quarters engagements, if you can get that weapon up and perhaps even get that first shot off, you have a great chance of winning that gunfight. So it's one that definitely I feel can play to, once again, my versatile play style here with this. I like to run and gun, even if I have to run an assault rifle. So it fits one of those play styles that it definitely does feel overall a great choice for the weaponry. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, how does it kill? Does it melt? Does it shoot peas? What does it do? I think it's actually kind of a combination of both, depending on the connection you're playing with. It can definitely be one of those weapons that melts if you land the shots, but also, again, depending on connection and where you put those shots, can also shoot peas every so often, but more so than not, you're going to end up getting some kills with it. And one of the things I totally forgot to mention right off the bat is the fact that I absolutely love the iron sights on this weapon. Granted, in this gameplay, you're watching, it is something where I use the ELO, but that was before I really started playing around with the iron sights. The iron sights on this weapon are honestly not that bad, and you guys know that for me, somebody that almost always uses an optic, that is something pretty crazy to think about. Me actually enjoying an iron sight, so that's really out of the ordinary, but it's something that with this weapon, I quite enjoy the iron sights. It then definitely takes one of those much needed spots out of your creative class and pick 10 system that you can reallocate somewhere else to say a grenade, an extra perk, or an extra attachment, something like that, or it definitely could be very useful elsewhere. So that is a very nice feature as well too with this. Once again, overall, I just think this weapon plays to a great playstyle, one that definitely caters to not only the SMG players, the run and gun SMG rush kill half, players, but also the ones that like to play the long range engagements and get those kills from a distance. So it kind of does it all in my opinion. That's at least where I see it here with it. I think it honestly could be a heavy competitor to the NV4 if more people use it. But the NV4 once again is pretty much still the staple Call of Duty assault rifle that everybody uses. It's quite overpowered I think in some regards. The silencer doesn't drop off much damage if any at all. So this I think is a great counter to it. And if you're looking to switch up your weapon rate for a game or two, this one definitely is a great option. And given the fact that it is one of the first unlocks that you get here with a prestige and the system overall, you can use it at almost any single level you enjoy. So that said, that's where we're gonna wrap it up. Just wanted to share this with you guys here because I've been playing a lot with this weapon recently and it is really underrated in my opinion. I haven't seen too many people make videos, too many best class setups or anything like that. So if you I wanna let you guys know about this here. If you guys wanted to give this a try, leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Do you love this weapon? Do you hate it? Whatever it may be, let me hear your thoughts. But if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing to stay up to date with everything Infinite Warfare. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nicole. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.